are you doing here? Throw up your hands! Hey, you man, handle those sheep! You can't butcher my flock. They're all I have. Oh, we're just starting, Jenkins. And when we get through, there won't be a stinking woolly left in this valley. You can't run us out of here. We've got a right to this land. Yeah? Well, this is cattle country. And we're not going to have it ruined by a lot of sheep-raising homesteaders. <laughs> of a bunch of drunken cow punchers? Yeah, we passed them a ways back. They were heading for the nasters. slaughtered my sheep and plugged me. Who did it? Ned. Ned Hampton. You didn't shoot at him first. Didn't have a chance. He plugged me in the back. I was afraid something like this would happen. Ned Hampton. Ain't that the brother of the girl you're going to marry, Tom? It hasn't been fired. Well, I guess that proves Hampton didn't shoot in self-defense. Well, what you going to do about it? Arrest him for murder. I just wondering when we're going to eat around here. Well, Ned isn't home yet. And besides, I'm expecting Tom for dinner, too. What, again? That young fellow must think this is a boarding house. 
<laughs> now, you know that you like him almost as well as your own son. Mm. <laughs> I suppose that's the only reason you're marrying him, is to make him my son-in-law. <laughs> Not entirely. <laughs> There he is now. Tom. Hello, Tom. Hello, honey. You're late, and I've baked a chocolate cake for you with icing all through it the way you like. Hmm. Well, young fella, now you're here, maybe we can eat. Where's Ned? I expect him in a minute, but we can start dinner now. Oh, Dad. Well, I'll give him a couple of more minutes. Why so gloomy, Mr. Sheriff? I have a warrant for Ned. A warrant? What for? Murder. Tom, you're joking. I wouldn't joke about a thing like this. You mean Ned has killed someone? But Tom, you can't arrest Ned. Why, he's my brother. I haven't any choice, Molly. Oh, do you realize? They might hang him. It's my duty, Molly. I'll see that it gets a fair trial. Who told you this? Some lying sheep herder? I saw Ned riding away just after the shooting with a couple of punchers. You didn't see him do it. It might have been one of the others. Oh, hello, Tom. Ned? You're under arrest for shooting Jenkins. You didn't kill him, did you, son? Sure I did. I had to plug him, to keep him from getting me. You see, Tom, it was self-defense. Jenkins' rifle hadn't been fired. He was plugged in the back. Ned? You'll have to come to the county seat to stand trial. Oh, no, I won't. Those sheep herders are trying to frame me. And I'm not going to be the goat. Do you hear me? Wait, Tom! Tom, Tom, listen to me!
That's an edge vault. That means we're on the right track. Are you badly hurt? No. It's nothing. You're not such a good shot. Well, you're the guy that taught me to shoot. Maybe. That was a mistake. You wait here, boys. Maybe Tom will listen to reason. Stay where you are, Hampton. We've come for Ned. You better turn him over peaceably. I'm handing him over to the jailer and nobody else. If you don't give him up, we'll tear this place down. I don't advise anybody to try it or he might get hurt. You're talking awful big for a guy that can hardly stand on his feet. Don't worry about me. <coughs> Does anybody else want to try it? Guess it means business, all right. Molly, what are you doing here? I followed you, Dad. I had to. What's happened, Dad? Where are they? In there. Molly, you must go. You must keep out of this. You might get hurt. Let me talk to Tom, Dad. It's no use, honey. He won't listen. Well, I'm going to try anyway. Yes, Molly? Tom, I must speak to you. Don't I mean anything to you, Tom? Won't you let Ned go for my sake? Please try to understand, Molly. It's not just us. If I let Ned go, the sheep herders will take the law into their own hands and plunge the whole country into a range war. I can only understand one thing. You're sacrificing my brother, sending him to his death for the sake of those sheep herders. You've turned against your own people, Tom Tracy. Molly. And I never want to see you again as long as I live. Looks like there's nothing left but to blast them out. You can't do that. Ned might get hurt. Please, Molly, go home. There's no telling what might happen. Looks like we're in for a siege. Uh, any objections to my smoking? Go ahead. You mind giving me a hand? I can't reach with these bracelets on. They're right in here. Thanks. Can have you a match? 
You don't believe me guilty, do you, Tom? I don't like to, kid. I'd rather have turned in my badge than to do this. I didn't have any choice in the matter. Sure. I understand. Oh. Ned, you didn't kill him, did you? No. I just knocked him out. Here, get these things off of him. Too bad you didn't kill the skunk. You ought to be strung up for throwing in with a sheep man. Let's do it. I'll get the rope. Oh, no, Dad. You can't let them do that. Stop them. Oh. So his life is more important to you than mine, eh? Oh, no, Ned. She's right, boys. We can't do that. But we can hold him here so that he can't get away to bring back help. Let's get him now. I guess you didn't hit him very hard. Come on, Tom. Open this door and we'll break it down. Come here. Let us build this man here. He got out that window. Yes, miss? What are you doing up this hour of the night? Oh, I couldn't sleep. Is there any news? Well, the last I heard, all of the men were out looking for Tom. But they didn't find him. I guess maybe he skipped out of the country. If they should find him, what do you think they'll do? Well, you know, the feeling against him is pretty strong. The cattleman made him sheriff. Now they think that he's turned traitor. I don't like to think of what might happen. I didn't mean to upset you, Molly. I forgot about you being so fond of Tom. Fond of him? I'm not fond of him. I despise him. I don't care what they do to him. If he were dying, I would raise a finger to help him. I wonder who that is. I don't know. Pretty bad shape. He's coming too. Molly. Tom. Molly. Come on, Tom. We've got to get you in the house. Bedroom, Sandy. All right, miss. Not a sign of them, boss. Do you think he could have gotten through to the county seat? Not a chance. The boys are guarding the pass. Well, I guess there's nothing more we can do tonight. We better be heading for the ranch and get some rest. How did I get here? Pal brought you. He's been here so often. 
He just headed this way from habit. That's a smart horse you have. Molly, you've been awfully kind. I'd do as much for anyone. <coughs> what are you laughing at? Oh, nothing at all. Only I just reco uh, reco recommembered something about not raising a finger to help a certain party. I think it would be a good idea if you'd get Tom something to eat. Yes, ma'am. comes Dick. Found the sharks horse down at the corral. He's hurt. He must be around here somewhere. You search the barn and the bunkhouse. Ned and I'll go inside. Yes, sir. Sandy. Yes, sir. Have you seen Tom? No, sir. Where's Molly? She's upstairs sleeping, sir. Say, Dad. He's been here all right. Be in one of these rooms. All right. I'll go in here. You go in that room down. All right. I wonder where he can be. You'd better ask Molly. Molly! Molly! Molly, wake up! What is it, Dad? Tom Tracy's been here tonight. Did you see him? Tom? Yes. We found bloodstains in the living room. Are you sure you didn't hear anything? Well, I went to bed about 10 o'clock. What are you doing? You're such a sound sleeper. He might have gotten in here without you knowing it. Why don't you look under the rugs? Maybe he's hiding there. Ah, uh, don't get sassy. Say, I'll bet you help him get away. What are you accusing me of, Ned Hampton? I haven't forgotten that you were pretty crazy about him. Well, I'm not now. I hate him. And if he came through that door this minute, I'd shoot him myself. Oh, stop your quarreling. Come on, Ned. Let's go look for him. All right. That's the way you feel about Tom. We won't spare any ammunition when we do catch up with him. Yeah, I've got a hunch. He's not very far away. Maybe you were right. Slightly smothered. What? He's not around here, boss. No? Well, he couldn't have gotten very far. Get your horses. We'll look for it. Ooh. 
They'll be gone in a few minutes. Then I'd better be going on my way. Are you sure you're strong enough to ride? I'm all right now. Thanks to you, Molly. Where will you go? I need medical attention. I guess Jim Green will take me in. Oh, of course. Your sheep herder friends will look after you. Molly. You can go now. Molly, I'll never forget what you've done for me tonight. And I'll never forget that you've turned against your own people. Pretty bad shape. Why wouldn't they be with all the grass burn up and the water holes baked dry? Mr. Hampton, there's more dead cattle down in the gulch. That's just the beginning. If this drop don't end soon, the whole herd will be wiped out. Well, can't last forever. I hope not. See here, Ned. We've got to move our herd to water, and we've got to do it right away. Hey, but Dad, the only way we can get to water is through the sheep herder settlement. I know that. You don't expect the sheep men to hang out a welcome sign for us, do you? In the first place, our cattle would damage their fields, and... Uh, and in the second place, your shooting that old sheep herder has made more bad blood between us. I know all that. But we've got to get our cattle to water. Hey, Mike, catch him. How are you feeling today, Tom? Fine, Jim. Hello, Judy. Hello, Tom. How do you feel? Very good. Thank you, Judy. I reckon he'll be leaving here soon. Yep. Molly! It's old man Hampton's girl. I wonder what she wants. Yeah. I wonder. What on earth are you doing in a sheep herder's camp? Oh, Tom, I had to see you. You're the only one can help us. You must do something. What is it about? It's Dad. He's going to try to bring the cattle through here. Good luck, Molly. Does your dad realize what would happen? Oh, I've tried to make him see the danger, but he won't listen. You've just got to stop him. I'll do everything I can, Molly. There must be some way to prevent trouble. You better get out of here right away. She ain't leaving here. Why not, Jim? Because I say so. Your dad is not going to run his cattle across our land. Listen, Jim. Hampton is facing ruin. All the cattle will die on him if he doesn't get them to water. And we're supposed to lend a helping hand, eh? After his son murdered one of our men and slaughtered most of his flock. We stood enough from them cattle men. That's right, and it better not try it. Listen, men. I realize how you feel. But if you start trouble, it's not only you who will suffer, but your wives and children. Do you want to see them shot down? Well, I reckon there's a way to prevent that. 
You don't figure Hampton will start shooting up this camp if he knows his daughter is here, do you? That's why she's staying. You can't do that, Jim. You can't drag an innocent girl into this. Why not? You don't think they're giving much thought about our women folks, do you? Take her to my cabin. Come on. Get in, darling. Get Hold him, boy. Hold him. Oh. Oh. Let him up. Well, I reckon that proves which side you're on, Tracy. Your horse. You're leaving here. And the next time you're hurt and want to hide, I wouldn't advise you to come to us. Jim, in the name of the law, I demand you to release that girl. You let Pop Jenkins' murder slip through your fingers once. Is that what you call the law? I intend to arrest him. But I had to wait until I was on my feet again. All right. Arrest him. You bring him here, and then we'll release the girl. When I bring Ned here, will you promise not to harm him? And let him have a fair trial? We promise he'll get a fair trial. All right. No, Tom. Don't you dare bring Ned here. Take her to the house. I don't have to tell you boys the condition of the cattle. You know it. We've got to move the cattle to water or we're through. You're right, boss. Whatever you say goes. I'm sure you'd feel that way about it. I don't want to have any trouble if there's any way to prevent it. There'll be plenty of trouble. I'm afraid you're right. But we'll have to try it anyway. You boys get the cattle rounded up and follow me. Okay, boss. Just a minute, gentlemen. Stay where you are. You'd better reach for the ceiling. Keep them covered, Dan. You're not gonna stop that drive, Hampton. Who's gonna stop me? I am, and my deputy's out here. So you're still siding with the sheep herders, eh? I'm not taking sides. Hampton, Molly's down at the sheep herders' camp. You mean they're holding her? You know what will happen to her if you start a fight. Why, the low-down, contemptible cur... Hold on, Hampton. They're willing to let her go in exchange for Ned. What? Hand Ned over to them? He'll be my prisoner. I simply got to prove to them he's under arrest before they'll release Molly. We'll wait for Ned. In the meantime, you gentlemen lay your guns on the table. All your guns. Come on. Well, 
I guess you and your deputies will keep quiet for a while. Ned. We'll get the boys together and round up the cattle. You've decided to go through with it? Of course I have. And if they don't hand Molly over to me safe and sound, I'll wipe out their whole camp. You can't do it, Hampton. It may cost many lives. Well, I guess that'll hold him for a while. You better stay here, Ned. Yeah, I suppose someone's got to keep an eye on Tracy. Not only that, but it won't help matters any if the sheepmen see you with the herd. I guess you're right. taking me to the sheep camp first. After they've released Molly, I'm taking her to jail. No, 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 Tom. You can't do that. Listen, well, you. Those sheep herders might kill me. Listen, you. Your sister's in danger. Can't you stop worrying about your own hide? Come on. You're Tom's girl, ain't you? No. I reckon you are. He kept talking about you when he was sick.
have the boys hold the herd back till I have a talk with Green. Make it fast, John. The critters will be smelling water soon. talk to you. Keep me covered, boys. Green, we've got to get our cattle to water, and the only way is through your land. You fellows have done enough damage without driving your cows across our fields. I'll pay for crop damage. Yeah, but money can't pay for the life of Pop Jenkins. You better ride back and get your women and children out of the way. The head of the herd will be here in ten minutes. There's one woman down there that won't be got out of the way, Hampton. And that's your daughter. I'll just give you five minutes to bring my daughter out safe. I'll wipe out every sheep herder in your camp. Well, something tells me that there'll be a few cattlemen wiped out first. The first man that comes riding out of the draw will get a dose of lead unless Molly's with him. They're ready to make a break. I gave them five minutes to bring Molly back. And we've got to hold them that long. What did they say down there? Why, they... You said that they'd come out in five minutes. Just in time, Ned. They haven't started the drive through yet. Come on. Oh. Ah. Shoot the first man that comes out of that draw unless he has Molly with him. started. Ned! Give me a little there, boys. Come on. Let's open his shirt, Tom. Oh, no. There's no use, Dad. I had it coming. <laughs> I was willing to leave Molly in the lurch. To save my own hide. I started this mess when I was drunk. I did shoot him in the back. You mean you didn't even give him a chance? No. Oh, Dad. Dad. Yes, Ned. Don't do any more fighting. It's not worth it.
This is the price of a range feud, John. It doesn't pay. Get out of here before they come back. You can get away by the lower field, but you'll have to go afoot. They took your horse. Why are you letting me go? Oh, I don't know. To hurry before I change my mind. Was that Ned? Yes, shot by one of his own men. They thought he was one of your boys. That's tough on old Hampton. Losing his son. Jim, Ned's paid for Jenkins. Can't you and Hampton call it quits now? I guess maybe we have been a couple of old fools. How about it, boys? Does the herd come through? Where are yours? Anything you say, Jim. Sure, let us let us through. I'll tell Hampton. You go get the girl, Tom. She's over at my place. The cattle are stampeding. by the law field. Yeah. 